Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Chibi Winter Soldier. So with this character, we're going to start with the eyes and we're going to give him some pretty mean and fierce looking eyebrows. So starting from the top left, we're going to curve down to the front of the eye. So up here, we're going to curve down to the inner part of the eye. And then here, we're just going to flip up the inner part of the brow. Let's do the exact same thing on the right side. Starting with this inner part, starting from the top, we'll curve down. And now we're going to draw that curve for the upper brow area. So curving up. From here, let's tuck in the eyeball underneath. So just even a little bit of space on the end. Just step over and draw a circle tucked in underneath that brow line. On the top here, we're going to draw a circle for the highlight. And go ahead and color all this in black. From here, let's draw in the same thing underneath the right eye. So we're going to draw that circle underneath the brow. So starting on the left, curve down, and curve up on the right side. And you see that I'm leaving a little bit just overhanging on the end. Draw that circle for the highlight, and we'll color everything in black. Okay, from here, we're going to draw in the bottom of the chin. So, so the face is quite small. I normally squash the area between the eyes and the chin. So starting on either side of the eye, I'm going to just shift over along the bottom edge. So on the left here, I'm going to move over and draw a point. On the right, I'm going to go to the bottom edge, go over and draw a point. This will be the side of the face. From here, I'm going to connect those two points with a curve that comes down to the chin. So starting on the left side, I'm going to curve down the chin, and then I'm going to curve back up on the right side. Just taking my time to make sure that I have an even sized face. From here, let's draw in the mask. So in the center here, the top of the mask come, comes around in a curve. So up here, I'll start on the left. I'm just going to draw a simple curve. From here, I'm going to take this point and curve to the outside of that line here. So from here, I'll curve around the eye and then up into that mask area. And then on the right, I'll do the same thing. So curving down underneath the eye and then up on the side of the mask area. Let's just clean this area up a little bit here. From here, let's draw in some detail. Along this upper edge, I'm just going to trace this out. I'm just drawing a trim. Goes around the upper edge. Coming down on the right. And then just vanishing off to the side here. Let's draw a little bit of detail for the inner part of the mask. So on either side of this curve, just going to draw two short lines that come down. From here, we're going to angle these in. So two short lines. We're going to come down. We're going to angle out. Making sure that these angles come up to the same width as the sides here. And it comes straight down. And tuck that in underneath the chin. From here, I'm going to draw some little vents, some slits. So basically what it is, it's a series of lines that go across. But there's a little gap in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here. Go across, leave a gap, and draw another line. We're going to draw that again, so just underneath. And we're just going to continue down until we have enough to fill in the center space. I'm just going to make that bigger. Let's go across one more time, and we'll stop right there. Let's draw in a little bit more detail. So up here, I'm going to come down with two short lines underneath the eye. Come down at an angle, and towards the center, and then come straight down. So we want to try to keep the detail minimal. So that's as far as I'm going to go with the inner part of the mask. Let's draw some eye bags underneath the eye. So up here, I'm just going to draw a curve just coming down underneath the eye. So that's a little bit of detail. It looks pretty cool. Now from here, I'm going to go up and just curve the hair around the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, find a point in the middle right here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to curve around the eye, curve out, and then back down just below the chin. So what I'll do is I'll start here. Curving out towards the left and coming down around that eye. From here, I'm going to curve out. Curving out. And from here, I'm just going to curve back 
down, just curl the bottom out like this. From here, I'm going to draw the back side of the hair. So from here, I'm just going to curve up and in towards the eye, leaving a little gap. I'm going to do an overlap, and I'm going to come down. And from here, I'm just going to curve and tuck this in underneath the face mask. Let's go to the right side and do the exact same thing. So from here, I'm going to curve up and down, just touching that eye barely, curving out. And then like I did here, I'm going to curve this back inwards, just like that, making sure they're roughly the same height. From here, I'm going to curve up and in towards the eye, do an overlap, and come down. And then like here, I'm just going to curve this up underneath the face mask. From here, let's go ahead and draw the height of the head. So the head, I want to draw probably around that high. So I'm going to take this point and draw a straight line down the middle. This is for the part in the hair. Now I want to go in and draw the rest of the head. So from here, I'm going to curve out. And I don't want to go too wide or too high. Curve down around here. So curving up and around. Coming down. Now from here, I kind of want to follow this curve. So going out, and then I'm going to meet up with that point right there by curving this back in like so. Let's go ahead and draw the exact same thing on the right side. Starting up here, curve around, then come down. Now I want to curve around just follow this contour of this line. So curving out, and then connecting with that point at the bottom at the end there. Okay, so we got the face. Got the head, let's draw a little bit more detail. I'm gonna draw some hair strands. So from here on the left, I wanna curve out this way and just kinda of let it vanish here. So I'm just gonna draw a curve like this. Let's draw one on the right side. Just mirroring that, just like that. And I'm gonna draw one more, just a little shorter up here. Curve towards the middle. And then I'll do the same thing on the right side, just let that vanish off like that. Okay, let's get into the body. Now with the body, I'm going to draw a pretty short torso. So right here, I'm going to draw the waistline. So on either side of the chin, I'm going to start over here on the left. I'm going to curve out towards the left side. And then on the right, I'll curve out towards the right. From here, I'm going to connect those two points with a curve that comes down in the middle and up on the right side. Let's draw a belt line. So I'm going to move up and draw that same curve. Now from here, I'm going to draw a strap that goes across the center of the chest. So just up here, I'm just draw a curve going across. I'm going to make that thicker. So I'm just going to draw another line underneath that. From here, let's draw a little buckle detail. So just right of center, I'm going to draw a little line coming down. And then over, I'll draw another line. And then in here, I'm just going to trace out the inside. So it looks like a little strap. On either side of the shoulders, I'm just going to draw a strap coming down. So here, I'm going to follow this line. And just kind of come down on both sides. Just like this. We're going to draw that same buckle on the tops here. So starting at the bottom, draw a straight line across, and then just moving up, we'll draw another line. And then I'm just going to draw and trace out the inside. Do the same thing on the right side. Two lines. And we're going to draw that little box. Now from here, let's draw in the straps that go across the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this area into three. So starting on the bottom, let's draw one curve, move up, Draw a second curve. Along this side, I'm just going to draw a little arrow. Draw one more down here. Now there's a little detail, like a little flap that comes up here. So from this corner, I'm just going to curve underneath the chin. Just on both sides. Over here, I'm going to draw a circle for a button. And one more right there. Now underneath the strap, I'm going to do the same thing. So there's actually another two straps that come along the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually draw something just to kind of Frame this out. So from this corner, curve the hips. There's these little details that come down like this. Now from here, I'm going to draw a split. So right about here, see where this line is here? I'm going to split this in half like that. Now I'm going to take that point and just draw one on the top and draw one on the bottom. Draw a button on the top one and a button on the bottom. Let's draw some detail for the buckle or the belt here. On either side of the center, I'm just going to draw two lines, side by side, on the left and on the right. This area here, I'm going to split in half. This area here, I will split in half. Now, we're going to put some pouches in each of these boxes. So from corner to corner, 
So we draw a little curve like that. Draw one on this side. Draw one here, and then one on the end. And inside, we're just going to draw a little dot for the button. Okay, so that's as much as we want to do for the body. Let's get into the legs. So down here, we're going to, in the center, we're just going to draw the lower torso. So drawing a little straight line that goes across here, down the middle. And we're going to draw in the legs. So we're going to draw the feet down to here. So stepping in a little bit on the left side, we'll curve down the inside part of the left leg. And we'll curve down the inside part of the right leg. Let's draw the width or the length of the foot. So here, I'm going to draw the feet quite wide from the toe. I'll curve to the heel. Let's do the same thing on the right side, just to balance this out, making sure they're roughly the same length. From the toe, I'm going to curve the top of the foot, and I'm going to aim for this heel, but I'm going to stop right about here. So curving in like this, and just stopping like that. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So from the heel, start up here. I'll curve down towards the toe. Let's draw the sole. So we're going to follow that line just above it, just to draw the sole of this boot. Now from here we can draw in the front of the leg. So from this hip, I'm going to curve down towards the top of the foot. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw in some detail for the heel, right up here. We'll draw a little heel detail like this, so a little curve on both sides. Let's draw the top of the boot. So right about here, I'm going to draw the front of the leg to the back, a little curve. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's trim, let's trim this out. So we're going to draw that twice. Just to give it some thickness. Now from here, let's draw in some knee pads. So we're going to move up. Draw an angled line coming down. A little beveled corner, so an angled line. And then straight down the leg. In here, we're going to draw two curved lines for the strap. Inside here, we're going to draw one, two, three, Four lines. Now this is these lines are actually an angle with the side of the leg. Up here, let's do the same thing on the right side. So I'm drawing that angled line from the top, angling down on the side here, and then coming straight down the leg. From this corner, we're gonna draw one, two, three, four lines, and then we'll draw that strap starting from the top in towards that knee pad and back again. Where there's a strap that comes across the body or on the left hip here, so starting in the side of the leg. We'll just tuck this in underneath the belt like that. And on the side, I'm just going to draw in a little box like that. So two short lines connected by a straight line down. And then we're going to add a little bit of detail for the lace. So right here in the center of the leg, we'll draw a line going into that curve. From this curve, I'm just going to curve over the foot and then curve this to the front of the foot, just like that. In here, I'm going to draw a curve. Then up here, I'm going to draw a curve. Let's draw the same thing over on this side. So from this side, drawing a line coming down, curving along the top of the foot, and then curving to the edge of the foot. We're going to split this in half, and we're just going to split another one right across here. Let's finish this off with the arms. We'll start with the left arm here. Now we want the arm coming down towards the hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the inner part of the arm. So right here, I'm just going to curve towards the fist, now we're going to have the hand like this, so we want to draw the knuckle for the fist first. So with the thumb, from here we're going to curve around. From here, let's draw a little bracket on that end. Now we're going to move over and draw a curve around that bracket. And we eventually want to make the arm end up up here underneath the chin. So we're going to do an overlap. Draw a curve for the second finger. Now third finger, I'm going to start up here and curve around. And then tuck this in underneath the face. From here, let's draw in the cuff on the sleeve. So up here, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. Now this arm is quite simple, it's just leather. We're going to draw that twice. Now up here, I'm going to draw in a little detail for the shoulder. So up here, I'll curve around the arm, and I'm going to take this and go right into that joint there. We're going to move over and just curve a line down with that same contour of the outer part of the arm. And for a little bit of detail, I'm just going to split this just like that. Let's go over to the right side and draw the metallic, the android robotic arm. So we're going to start at the same height, curving down towards the thumb. We're going to round out the thumb, and then we're going to draw that little bracket. Let's move over and do an overlap for the first finger. 
We're going to do an overlap from the second finger. And then from the third finger, we'll come in. Now this is going to aim up here, so I just want to make sure that I stop at the same height that I have on the left. So coming around like this, like so. Let's draw on the cuff, draw a cuff, a little curve like this. Now on this shoulder, he has a red star, so we're going to have to see only half of it because his arm is turned. So starting from the top of the star, we're going to come down at an angle. We're going to go across, and we're going to come down. From here, we're going to follow this line, come down like this, and from here, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to show just a little bit of the other side of the star, just like that. Now, across this arm, I'm just going to draw curves that go all the way up, because we're going to keep it quite simple. It follows that same cuff line all the way up the arm. I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between. This is going to go under, behind the star. This will go behind the star. And then one more right there. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Winter Soldier. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please make sure you check out our Chibi playlist. I have a ton of characters in there. I'll be adding more every week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.